Welcome to this session by Pathfinder Education Services. My name is Manish Khane and in this session we will talk about CAT preparation strategy. So if you are preparing for CAT 2022, stay with me for the next 10-15 minutes and we shall talk about a few amazing things that I have learned as a trainer for CAT in the last 20-21 years. It reminds me of an incident that happened with me a few days back. I was college in logo se baat kar raha tha, cat preparation pe. and suddenly somebody from the audience stood up and says sir you talk about planning i heard a ted talk on youtube about not uh, you know not we, we should not plan anything and he said the title was it it's okay to not have a plan and i gave that fellow some random answer because i thought it was a random question and i gave him some random answer and i got out of the situation but the moment I came back home, I was curious because, you know, the headline, it's okay to not have a plan, it appealed to me. So I googled up the statement. <laughs> sure enough, there was a TED talk and it was not a TED talk actually, it was a TEDx talk by the same name. And, you know, when, when I googled it up, the first thing that came up was an article in Times of India, India Times. So article also mentioned about the same TEDx talk looks like some a lady named Mithila Parker has indeed made such a TEDx talk at MIT Silchar and during the talk she makes a statement it's okay to not have a plan and friends let me tell you all she is an actor she can say that any YouTube star can stay that say that Anybody who has gone into performing arts and excelled and has become successful can say that. Because there is no measure by which you can measure a performing art. It's, it's purely audience reaction to the art. So yes, somebody becomes a popular artist by chance. You can't plan for it. But when it comes to management, planning and executing that plan is at the core of management. And I'm sure... Any artist who has become great, for that artist also, executing a particular plan, you know, she might not have overtly planned it. But kahi na kahi kuch na kuch usne socha hoga ek direction lene ke baare mein aur usko execute bhi kiya hoga. So if you set out on any endeavor, ek cheez dhyan rakho, aapko sabse pehle baith ke sochna padega ki mujhe direction kya leni hai. What will be my broad direction? How will I approach in the in the first few days towards the end? And when it comes to exam like CAT, it is all the more relevant, all the more necessary. But before I start, here are a few things which I want to offer to you, uh, the student who is preparing for CAT 2022 or CAT 2023. So we have some free resources. If you are looking at some free courses or looking for some free courses in CAT, please uh, log on to our website www.pathfinderforme.com and find out more about our free courses. You can also send a hello message to this number 93439-21347 and you will get an appropriate response directing you to our free courses and other resources for CAT preparation. If you are looking for some strategic inputs on your preparation and mind you, you should be looking at strategic inputs also because it's not all about preparing only. So for strategic inputs, you can subscribe to our channel Pathfinder for me. For any content related to quantitative aptitude or logical reasoning, you can subscribe to our channel Mend Your Math. You can join our Telegram channel, you can join our WhatsApp channel. Our batches are starting every week. You are more than welcome to inquire about our batches. So with that, let us get started. First things, by January में बैठे हो, सबसे पहले आपको ये सोचना है, what kind of exams you will be writing. This is the first thing that you should have in mind. And why? You may not have a complete list of exams that you will write, but you should broadly have an idea which exam you would appear for, whether it is CAT, ZAT, or IIFT. 
whether it is SNAP or MMAT, whether it is CMAT or TISMAT. So I have purposefully grouped these exams in this fashion because the moment you have an idea of what exam you will write, you need to know the difficulty level at which you need to prepare. CATS at IFT, high difficulty level and a bit of compromise on speed will do. But I've come to think of uh, come to think of it, you know, this year around 95, 96 score, in fact, 98, 99 score gave you a 99th percentile. So, hardly 33 questions. So, 33 questions if you are able to solve in 2 hours, you got 99th percentile in CAT 2021. So, difficulty level is high. CAT is at IIT. CAT takes place in the month of November last week or maybe December first week. IFT takes place in the month of uh, December again. ZAT takes place in the first week of January. So, you will be facing ZAT in 23 around the same time as today. Then you have a SNAP and NMAT. These are exams which happen over a continued duration but almost on the same level of difficulty. So, here you cannot compromise with speed because the exam, the level of exam is slightly on the easier side. You cannot compromise with speed. So, you need speed to approach these exams. And then we have CMAT and TISNET where I feel speed is everything. Apart from basics, speed is everything because you need to score very high to get good colleges in both these exams. So, if you know what exams you will be broadly taking, you know what direction you have to take. The second thing is, some exams have their own peculiar sections like ZAT has a decision making section. So, you know that if you plan to take on ZAT, you will have to take that additional section of decision making. Not that decision making is difficult, but it is a different section. If you are planning on taking TISNET, then you have to prepare additionally for current affairs and general awareness. The same thing with IIFT. So, you get an idea of what all areas you need to prepare for. And you also need, you also get an idea of the timelines you have to start and to complete your preparation. And that is why you should always start with exams in mind. See, there will be some additions, some deletions over a period of time based on how you prepare, how you perform in the mocks. But you have to make a start somewhere. So, make a start somewhere. And that is the first thing you need to do when you start preparing. By January, me sabse pehla kaam kar lo. The next thing you ought to do is preparation ko kuch parts mein divide kar lo, kuch timelines honi chahiye preparation mein. For example, in January, you should think of a deadline when you will complete the basic course. So, do you have a deadline right now? If you don't have, have one. You know, I would offer this deadline somewhere in the last week of March. So, keep a deadline somewhere around the last week of March. Ideally, take it 31st of March. Here in Bhusi, So, pick a deadline and try to complete your course once before that deadline. At Pathfinder, we are going to have a basic curriculum which goes on for the first three months and we will finish our course by March 31st. The advantage it will give you is, suppose you are still not comfortable with a few areas, you can repeat. And if you are comfortable with all the areas, then well, you need to start preparing on slightly tougher questions. Your first phase is that you don't have to do tough questions in it. CAT is not essentially a tough exam. You know, IIT is not CAT. IIT JE advanced is a tough exam. CAT is not a tough exam. You know, I would more relate it to the mains level in terms of level of difficulty. So, please understand that the first three months you have concepts. Now, what are concepts? In maths, there will be a different concepts in maths. In reasoning, there will be a different meaning. And in verbal ability, there will be a different meaning. Let's start with quants, because the most important effort is to put in quants and in language. The most important effort. So, under quantitative aptitude, make sure that you go through each and every chapter 
each and every topic from arithmetic. So you have percentage profit loss and simple interest compound interest to start with, average mixtures, ratios, time work, time distance. All these topics you should go through once. Make sure that you are very clear with basics. You should know how to calculate basic percentages, increase and decrease in percentages. You should know how to have the percentage equivalences. You should be able to use ratios to your advantage when you are, when you are clear with basics. You need to have an understanding of time, work and distance formulas, basic formula, distance is equal to speed into time. You need to know what is average speed. You need to know how to make equations for time and distance. So, I will tell basic arithmetic. In this way, algebra, in this way, higher maths, mein, permutation combination, a bit of coordinate geometry, ye kar lo. and then spend some time on geometry, mensuration and a bit of trigonometry. So, if you are able to do all of this in three months, you are good to go to the next level. Then what about basics in verbal ability? In verbal ability, when you say basics, you now I personally believe that you know you should be focusing first on vocabulary. If you already have a good vocabulary, then make sure that you know you are okay with grammar, concepts of grammar. Mind you, what we study in grammar in school is not sufficient to crack competitive exams on grammar, you know, to crack the questions that appear in quantitative uh, competitive exams. So make sure you go through the concepts of grammar, basic rules of grammar thoroughly and get exposed to all kinds of questions that will appear in verbal ability in CAD and other exams. So it could be reading comprehension, critical reasoning, summaries, parasummaries, parajumbles, odd sentences out. And you should also do some of the one, some of the areas that don't appear in CAD, synonyms, antonyms, uh, odd ones out and even verbal analogies. Get exposed. Aapko pata hona chahiye broadly kya kya pucha jata hai. Isse kya hota hai? That when you face a question, you are, you are not unfamiliar with the question. You know, you know, ki mani ye type dekha hua hai. And you are ready to practice once you are exposed to that area. Logical reasoning mein, jo traditional logical reasoning hai, wo katam kar do puri. Analytical reasoning, finish it off. Right? Verbal reasoning, finish it off in the first three months and don't try to do overly tough questions make sure that you are you know how to solve basic questions of every topic because the rest of the time you will be spending a lot on solving tougher questions or questions of higher orders of difficulty iske baad kya karna hai second stage mein you start testing yourself you know you sh you can start with topic tests you can move on to section tests but when you take topic tests in this phase you will get an idea of what you have acquired in the first three months in the first phase and what you have not acquired agar koi topic abhi bhi weak lagta hai to usko ek bar fir se karo fir se karo fir se karo tab tak karte raho tab jab tak you don't feel comfortable with the topic you know many many people say that i i need to solve a variety of questions in cad no. In quant, quant and reasoning, my simple suggestion to you is stick to one book, solve it fully, solve it three times, four times before you move on to some other material. So, don't look here and there for a material. If you've joined a coaching institute, if you've joined Pathfinder, look at only Pathfinder material. If you've joined elsewhere, look for only that material. Today, Everybody broadly has access to similar books, similar resources. Material sabka ek jasa hoga, plus minus 20%. But, agar aapne ek material use kiya hai, to usko achche se use karo, usko pura solve karo. Aur fir idhar udhar dekho. Last 4 months, aapka pura ka pura focus hona chahiye, ki how many mocks you can take. You know, take as many mocks as you can. You can start mocks in the second phase. The second phase may be one mock in one month. But third phase mein aapko har hafte ek mock lena chahiye. Aakhri ke ek mehne mein koshish karo ki har hafte mein do mocks lo. You, you need not take one mock every day. No, that's another question that came to me. 
मॉक लेना जितना जरूरी है इट इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट टू एनालाइज द मॉक एंड वर्क ऑन द फीडबैक दैट यू रिसीव फ्रॉम दैट मॉक सो दिस इज हाउ यू गो अबाउट प्लानिंग योर सेकेंड एंड द थर्ड फेज सो दीज आर ब्रॉड टाइम लाइन्स दीज आर नॉट वाटर टाइट कंपार्टमेंट्स अगर मैंने तीन महीने बोला है और आपको चार महीने लगते हैं तो प्लीज चार महीने लो अगर मैंने तीन महीने बोला है और आपको एक महीने में आप कोर्स खत्म कर सकते हो तो प्लीज गो अहेड नथिंग स्टॉप्स यू फ्रॉम चेंजिंग द टाइम लाइन्स एवरीबडी इज एन इंडिविजुअल यूनिक एंड एवरीबडी विल हैव हिज और हर ओन टाइम लाइन्स दिस इज अ ब्रॉड प्लान इसके बाद सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट काम है देखो भाई वी आर ह्यूमन्स वी आर क्रीचर्स ऑफ हैबिट्स हम जगते हुए अराउंड 40 टू 50 परसेंट ऑफ आर टाइम वी डू थिंग्स हैबिचुअली नो वी वेक अप एट अ पर्टिकुलर टाइम बाय हैबिट वी गो थ्रू ऑल आवर डेली रूटीन बाय 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 हैबिट वी ईट जंक फूड बाय हैबिट वी कंज्यूम सोशल मीडिया बाय हैबिट तो हम मोस्टली चीज़ें हैबिट से करते हैं और इम्प्लीमेंटेशन में बहुत ज़रूरी है दैट वी कीप अ ट्रैक ऑफ वॉट हैबिट्स वी आर डिवेलपिंग so if you want to succeed in cat develop the habit of reading every day read for an hour every day if you are preparing for cat solve 25 to 30 questions of quantitative aptitude every day you will thank me at the end of 2022 so yaad rakho build the right habits when you are implementing your plan for cat preparation बिकॉज पीपल हु बिल्ड द राइट हैबिट्स वो प्रिपेयर करके सक्सेसफुल हो जाते हैं एंड दे डोंट इवन नो अबाउट इट एंड दे थिंक कि मैंने पढ़ाई कब की बिकॉज दैट रीडिंग बिकेम हैबिचुअल यू नो वो हो रहा था बिना सोचे हो रहा था द सॉल्विंग ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव क्वेश्चन इट वॉज ऑटोमेटिक यू नो यूर अटेंडिंग अ क्लास यू आर सॉल्विंग क्वेश्चन विच यू आर नॉट एबल टू सॉल्व फ्रॉम द मॉक्स इट बिकेम्स अ हैबिट यू स्टार्ट एंजॉइंग इट एंड दैट इज वाई build the right habits be ruthless with yourself when i say ruthless with yourself it means that if you have a broad timeline in mind and if you are not able to execute your plan to that timeline apne aap ko maaf mat karo be ruthless make sure that you make yourself pay for what mistake you made during the implementation process of that plan kyunki अगर आप इस वक्त कमजोर बन गए तो यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू सक्सीड थिंक ऑफ ऑल द टाइम्स व्हेन यू हैव टू वेक अप अर्ली इन द मॉर्निंग एंड यू नो स्नूज बटन स्नूज बटन भी एक हैबिट है कई लोग स्नूज बटन दबाते रहते हैं उठते नहीं है सो दैट इज आल्सो अ हैबिट सो बी रूथलेस विथ योर सेल्फ इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू इम्प्लीमेंट समथिंग ऑन टाइम एंड मेक योर डू इट बिकॉज वो भी एक आदत है Spend more time on action, not overthinking. कई students overthinking का शिकार हो जाते हैं Overthinking से होता क्या है आप सोचते रहते हो सोचते रहते हो मेरा क्या होगा मेरा क्या होगा यू आर थिंकिंग अबाउट द गोल यू आर थिंकिंग अबाउट वेदर आई एल मेक इट और आई एल नॉट मेक इट एंड द मोर टाइम यू स्पेंड ऑन सच यूजलेस थिंकिंग द लेस विल बी योर चांस ऑफ मेकिंग इट सो स्पेंड मोर टाइम ऑन एक्शन काम करो एक्शन लो उससे आपका भला होगा But if you are not acting, if you are not taking that action, somewhere down the line you will see your scores deteriorating, and you know, with scores even your motivation will deteriorate. So this is all I have to say today about CAT preparation. Finally, free resources for CAT. You can just subscribe to our channel Pathfinder for me if you are looking for strategic inputs. for inputs related to content you can subscribe to our channel mend your math there are some lovely videos out there you can inquire about our courses on 93439 our batches are starting every week you're more than welcome to inquire thank you very much